So you want to get a new game, you're looking at Marvel Midnight Suns. Well, uh, I've been playing the strategy kind of turn-based games for a really long time now. And so I was excited to get this one when I saw that that's what it was going to be, especially when you tie it into like the Gears Tactics theme or even maybe the uh, XCOM games. I got this one. I got it right away. It was one of the very first times I've ever bought a Steam game that was like a pre-order and I went ahead and got the Legendary Edition because I wanted to get all the cool skins and everything and the extra characters. Well, I've played it now for a little over a week since the day it launched. I got it um, whatever day it came out. I'll put the thing here. And then I started it that same day. I put probably, I don't know, 30 to 50 hours total into the game. And I thought I'd give you guys a quick review on it. First things first, on PC, it's super slow. I have I have a Ryzen 5900X, AMD Radeon 5600 XT. I have 32 gigs of RAM, everything's solid state, yet it still takes forever for certain things to load. Uh, is it even up yet? Oh, it is up. I got some screen footage here, so some gameplay footage so you can kind of see like loading times and stuff. It also stutters a lot. And I know that they're talking about doing some patches and stuff to kind of fix that. And I really hope they do because it makes it kind of not fun to play and it's it's whatever. Now I will admit I'm not a card based person. I've never played a game that had the uh, little cards like Dragon or uh, Mad Dragon, uh, Magic Gathering and Pokemon. I've never tried any of those Yu-Gi-Oh games. So the card based system I have, I like and I hate at the same time. I think it's cool because it's forcing you to try different things different times but also it's hard to amass a good strategy based on certain characters because you don't know what card draw you're going to get and it's kind of frustrating. Whereas in something like XCOM or Gears Tactics, you have, you know, certain subsets and you can say, hey, this is this type of mission. I'm going to bring these characters because I know they have these specials and this, this, and this. So I, again, I have a love hate. I think the fighting portion of the game is actually pretty cool. I, I like the animations and everything. I think the building friendships and the, the walk around the Abbey and all that stuff uh, for me is kind of boring and it, it really detracts from the game. But it's something like you kind of have to do because it gives you bonuses and gives you stuff to do later on with the different characters and it gives you skill points and stuff. So it's kind of like, you know, endure this so I can have that. You know, it's kind of like the work, okay? You work so you can get a paycheck so you can go buy the fun thing. And that's kind of how I feel about that whole side set of the Abbey. I also don't like the fact that I can only do one mission per day. So the way they have it is in game, there's like a clock. And so you can do your mission and you can do X, what I do X, Y, Z. Then you got to go to bed and you got to wake up so you can do another mission or so you can, you know, open the, the chests and the various things that you unlocked. I think that's kind of dumb, kind of bugged me. And again, it slows things down a lot. It makes it hard to kind of get into a rhythm or makes it hard for me to kind of get into a flow of like, okay, cool. This is a cool mission. I'm happy. Let me play another mission. It's like, nope, go back to the Abbey walk around, talk to people, go to sleep, wake up, talk to more people, do some training, do this, do that, open the things you got, and then now you can do another mission. I, I found that kind of annoying and something I didn't like. Everybody, of course, is going to be to each their own, and I haven't tried this on Xbox. Uh, I mostly game on my Xbox. I have a handful of games on my PC, but being that it's a tactical squad-based game, I thought PC is better. I liked Gears Tactics much better on PC than, it, than I did on my Xbox, and I like XCOM better on my PC than I did on my Xbox. Also, I liked on the PC, I had all the mods. So this was, like I said, one of the very first games I ever did that I could do that. So if you're thinking about Marvel uh, Midnight Suns, that would be the first thing is, do you like, you know, like a tactical, you know, squad-based, you know, SOCOM, or not SOCOM, um, XCOM game, or like I was saying, Gears Tactics. And then if you don't, then definitely don't buy it. Maybe rent it or, or borrow it from a friend or something like that if it's Xbox or, or whatever. If it's something that you're going to, uh, or maybe a good sale. If you are into those games, just know getting into it that there is this little RPG element that they stuck in there that you have to, you know, you have to talk to Iron Man and Doctor Strange and, and all these people to make them your buddy, you know, and then they're gonna make you do various trainings and all that stuff costs money and then you're gonna go talk to these people, they're gonna make you do some training, they're gonna do all these variables that are gonna slow the process down. Maybe it's so it takes longer, maybe it's just, that's how they want to do it, but I just found that kind of boring. 
I prefer uh, the Gears Tactics system where I can have the more customization of my character. I could customize my weaponry. Um, you didn't really have a base. I did like in XCOM, you have your base and you can expand your base and you can make it more tactical. I think that's a better concept for me and I, I enjoyed that more. And even like thinking like StarCraft way back when, like you could expand upon your base and your ship. You could like, okay, now we're gonna have an armory so we can have better bullets and we're gonna have this. Well, they kind of do the same thing here. Like you can build stuff in the forge and you can, you know, read up in the library and you can do all these things, but I feel like they force some of it upon you, whereas they don't let you just decide if you want to do that or not. And I, I kind of get it, but like I said, it's a love hate. Like I like pizza, I like parts of it and I like it sometimes, but then other times I found it very, slow and drawn out and boring and it was like why am I doing all this it's kind of kind of blah well let's get into some gameplay and then you can of course make your own decision as you can see I'm here in the abbey and I gotta go walk around and talk to people like I was just saying so you you know they give you like these little magnifying glasses and then you can look up stuff and you can do various things here this kind of reminds me of like the Mortal Kombat where you had to go in and, and get various information way back in from different characters in time to wake her up at the crack of dawn <laughs> so uh, talking to various people uh, I definitely noticed a big hiccup right here when you go into this little section, because there was something to look, look at over here. And then when I was trying to get out, it just kept freaking out. I didn't do it today. Maybe they patched it. See what I mean? I got to do all this extra little stuff. And it gives you knowledge, so it helps you. I have no idea what those do yet. I haven't got anywhere where I can use my arcane knowledge. Uh, I honestly don't remember if I've already been to sleep or not, so that'll tell me. So, let's see. I must have because there's people here. So, if you haven't been to sleep, this won't work. But because I have... Oh, shh, 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 Tony is working. I got, I got nothing. So, apparently, I've already done these things. I'm here if you need me. And then you have to build various things. So I put this in. I built this here. And these are broken down by days. You can't buy it for two days. And it's two in-game days. So you gotta go do a mission, come back, go to sleep, go do a mission, come back, go to sleep. Uh, this is your, gonna be your room, and you can upgrade it, and you know, I don't know why you're upgrading it, to be honest. Uh, this is how you can uh, customize your character. So all this stuff, like I said, is, to me, is kind of slow, kind of boring. It's like, all right, what, why can't I just do three or four missions in a row? Apparently Tony's out here. Wasn't he just in the building? Spider-Man's training. I just I just upgraded these because they give you different perks. Uh, and then this is the grounds of the abbey. And you can search all this and then you can get different plants and various things. So I guess you can do spells and whatever. Again, I haven't gotten to do some of those things yet because it just hasn't come up in the, this part of the game for me. I've picked up several forms of mushrooms and lilacs and this that and the other and I've turned all that into magic but she or not magic Nico I guess and I'm waiting I haven't gotten the ability to knock this wall down yet so I guess whatever I need to do is beyond that so let's see one thing I did like though is you can uh, jump so right away you don't have to worry about certain things so like I can jump right to the abbey this is how your mission board comes up and then so you can see if it's gonna be a hard mission a uh, story mission or a standard mission. Apparently Nico has to be in the mission already so she's got to go and then you get to pick your characters and so be it. Hey I changed my skins they put them back. <laughs> there must have been a patch. So here's load times. Again my PC is a Ryzen 5900X. I got 32 gigs of RAM. I got um, the Samsung solid state hard drive, the 970 Pro or 9, 980 Pro. I can't remember which one. It's been a while. 9, 970, because I haven't got the 9980. <clears throat> and then I have a uh, AMD Ryzen, I mean, an AMD Radeon 5600 XT. I know my video card is a little bit older, uh, but with the video card shortage, I just wasn't able to get one. And so now this is how a mission goes. Disable the hide truck. Yeah. So we got to... Hydra has come to rely heavily on those supply trucks to maintain their reach. 
This is a prime opportunity to disrupt their operations. You don't have a lot of time. So these are your card draws. I uh, need to build up heroism to do stuff. Here's my cards. Um, so like my main character didn't even get a card draw. And so you can't... Oh, she got this one. Uh, you can pick a guard girl. And so let's see. These little icons tell you who they're targeting. So they're targeting my main character, my main character, my main character. He's targeting magic. He's targeting Nico. He, she, he's targeting Nico. And he's targeting magic. Most of these have knockbacks. Knockbacks, you know, help you out because they take from one character to another. So I can knock them into any particular character. If I do this, it kills two people dead. If I do this, it kills one and hurts the other. And you get the idea. He has a card, so I want to take him out because he has this card. Listen, the animations aren't bad. Just has some stutter. It's kind of annoying. Okay. Second one. Here. And then this will take him out. Now I should have inquired the card. And I don't have an answer to why certain times, like I can jump off of this, but yet right now I, with certain times you can't. I haven't figured those things out yet. So I run, jump off, slam. And that wasn't a card play. That's why you want to do those. Okay, and it didn't even count as a move. That's nice. Uh, let's see. Now I can do this. Two out. We hope one slam into this chick. Now they do reinforcements, they do this like every time. Take it out. Shouldn't be that hard, be that hard for a bunch of superheroes. You had your you had your chance to escape. Can I break the shield? Oh, I couldn't delay the truck. Maybe it's not taken off yet. The truck drives away, you lose. And so you lose the mission. So if you restart, so you see how it works. And then again, you can see load times. Seems like they speeded that up quite a bit, considering the other day it took like 10 times as long. Well, there you have it. Marvel Midnight Suns. You get to see a little bit of gameplay. Uh, you get to see a couple of the characters. There are tons of videos on YouTube right now talking about this game. And again... It's hard for me to recommend this one. I think if you're into this type of genre, I would tell you to go get XCOM 2 or go get Gears Tactics. If you haven't tried Gears Tactics, I think that's a that's a really fun game, and I think it ties really well into the whole Gears concept of the cover base shooter, and then also like if you have a downed opponent, you can you can go revive them. That was one of the things I didn't like in XCOM is if one of your people that you get squad, you know, you get your squad leveled up, and if they go down, they're dead. And it's like, dang, I just gave them that new weaponry and that new skin and all that, da, 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 and they're gone. At least in Gears, if they're down, I can go revive them and bring them back before they're considered dead. Um, so I think that was cool, and I think that ties really well into the Gears universe, because even if you have a guy and he goes down, you can go revive him or, or bring him up before the, the round is over. Um, go ahead, if you like this game, or if you if you already have it and you have different opinion, go ahead and put it in the comments below. I'd be curious to hear what you guys have to say. I will try to respond to every comment. Um, if you're not a fan, if you're like, yeah, I think this is, I think this is going to be a hard pass for me, then again, let me know about that. Well, cool. Do you guys have it? If you like the game, let me know. If you don't, let me know. And otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video. This is JD, Tech Ninja, and I'm out.